What's going on today guys? We're back at it again. We're going to be talking about everyday carry. Uh, we're going to go over some items that I carry every day and uh, just kind of compare them and see what uh, you carry and, and see how ours uh, match up and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. The first item on my list of everyday carry I make sure that I carry is my keys. You can't go anywhere without your keys. So, you know, you can't start your truck, you can't start your car, you can't even lock your door. So the keys is gonna be a no brainer. This one's gonna be first on my everyday carry list. Okay, the second item on my list for everyday carry is gonna be a wallet with and money. So this wallet in particular is from Haas's Holsters out of Smithfield, North Carolina. They're a fairly new company out in the market. Uh, they specialize in custom Kydex holsters and other Kydex items like this wallet. I've been carrying this wallet for a little bit now and I really like it. It's very comfortable, lightweight, and it's designed to fit in your back pocket or even in the front pocket. It has the money clip on the back and it has enough room to keep all your cards and whatnot up front. Along with money, I also keep coins on me. You never know if you're gonna need that spare change for a parking meter or anything else you can think of. Now, I always keep two pins on me as well as a Sharpie. Sharpies and pins go a long way. Sharpies can write particularly on anything and you know they serve great purpose. I always carry two pins in case one fails. I always have a backup. Also in my pocket, I carry a soapstone. Um, here's another one of items that uh, people don't really think about. Soapstone is great in case you have to write on metal or even brick. It's mainly designed for sheet metal work but serves other purposes. I've been carrying soapstone for a couple years now, especially when I was working on my old hot rod truck and it's part of my routine to carry it now. Next on my list, chapstick. Okay, so Chapstick's a really good item to have. If you're outside, your lips can start to dry out and you want to try and protect them. I've always used the cherry flavor chapstick, but you can use any you know chapstick that you want. I just particularly like the cherry one since I was a kid. And I like the fact that you know some of them have SPF in it so my lips won't get burned. So you know, not having burnt lips is really great. Also in my pocket is a good pocket knife. I mainly use three different ones. The Kershaw Cryo 2, the Gerber Paraframe, and the Emtech Extreme Ballistic Rescue Knife. The Kershaw Cryo 2 is a 3.25 inch blade that was designed by a firefighter or EMT with everyday use in mind. This knife is about 20% larger than the original Cryo and has the speed safe assist opening and is coming in at 5.6 ounces. So it's a little bit heavier than the rest. The Gerber Paraframe is a three inch blade and it's only weighing in at about 2.6 pounds or 2.6 ounces. And I really like the serrations on the edge of this little knife. Um, I particularly like it because when I want to carry light, I usually carry this. So when I'm at the range and I have my holster on my hip and everything else, it's just, it just gets very cumbersome to have a lot of heavy items. So I usually carry my Gerber with me when I'm at the range. Now the Intec Extreme Ballistic I use that on the ambulance a lot uh, just because of the fact that it has the seatbelt cutter and it has the punch on the back um, so I can punch out windows if need be and it also has that G10 grip and the blade is 3.5 inch and has serrations which come in handy, handy for certain things as well and the weight of this knife is about 4.08 ounces so you know having a good knife on you at all times is going to serve really great purpose because you never know when you're going to need a knife. So I like to carry any one of these on any, any given day. So here's an item that is always overlooked in the YouTube everyday carry videos that I always see. And this is something that I've always been carrying for a long time now and is a handkerchief. So handkerchiefs serve a big purpose in everyday carry. Think about other purposes that can be used other than blowing your nose or wiping off sweat. It can be used as a tourniquet, a headband, neck protection against the sun, it can cover your face from debris. So lots of multi-uses for this square cloth. That's why I always carry one. Another good item that I carry is a Leatherman Wave Tool, multi-tool. I really like the Wave because it incorporates the Phillips and the Flathead Quick Detach. Um, this comes in, this is also like a slight downgrade because, you know, other multi-tools have a set 
uh, Phillips and flathead, but this one I can also change out and put uh, Torx or any other style that, I, that they make. I can also put it in there as a quick detach. So, you know, it does serve its purposes. I like it because of the weight and the feel. And, you know, I'll use this tool at least once a day for something. And it's great to have an extra blade and the pliers and everything else that go along with the multi-tool because you never know what you're going to need out when you're in everyday carry. Now, a good flashlight can go a long way. I really like carrying the PowerTac E9 uh, flashlight. It's 1050 lumen and has five settings. It has four light settings from bright to brightest and a strobe effect. So this is going to be the lowest setting. And then you have a little bit brighter, a little bit brighter, brightest, and then you have your strobe effect, which is really nice. So I usually carry this, uh, you know, when I'm particularly on the ambulance and then when I'm out in public sometimes if I'm out at night. You just never know when you're going to need a good flashlight. Also, on the back side right here, you have just a strobe button, so you can just press it when the flashlight is off. Um, it's LED. I really like it. Um, also, you can change out... Um, the back to and the body and you can actually incorporate it and mount it on a rifle you just got to buy an adapter and it mounts to the body of the flashlight you can also add a red or green cover to change the color of the light to meet your needs so I really like having a nice good handy dandy flashlight in my everyday carry items now for weapons I rotate between two pistols the Sig Sauer P229 and 9mm and the Sig Sauer P320 Compact, also in 9mm. I carry 9mm for the round count. I know people have their preferences, be it 9, 40, 357 Sig, 357 Magnum, 45, 38, 380, and the list goes on and on and on. But honestly, 9mm works for me, and with 124 grain Hydroshock, it packs a mean punch. Now, I'm on the fluffy side, so I don't like carrying in the waistband. I usually carry on the outside, and I usually carry with the custom Kydex holsters. I use this holster made by CNC Holster for my 229, and I use the Bullseye holster for my P320, and they're based out of Florida. Um, but I usually carry those most of the time. And in the winter time, I usually carry uh, an M&P Shield on an ankle holster made by DeSantis along with my either my P320 or my 229. So usually I carry at least one or two pistols on me depending on when uh, the time of the year is. But nine times out of ten, I usually carry my 229 with me. Now, a good watch is a must. I have different watches for different occasions. I usually wear this Invicta Pro Diver Swiss Quartz Watch. Now, people say a watch is a watch, but a good Swiss movement watch is my favorite. It's stainless steel. It's also water resistant up to 100 meters. So make sure you do your homework on a good watch and, you know, definitely look get one that'll take some abuse and that'll last you a good while because some of these watches can be very expensive. So, you know, a cheap watch is a cheap watch, but a good quality watch will last you a long time. So keep that in mind when you're doing some watch shopping. Now, I always wear some sort of eye protection. I wear Oakley straight jacket sunglasses with polarized lenses. Good eyewear is a must, especially on a sunny day. Uh, I like to wear uh, these and also have a backup pair in the truck just in case. Uh, I forget these at the house, which I... Sometimes I do, it just depends. Uh, but uh, I always have a good pair of sunglasses because you know, it'll protect your eyes in the long run and once your eyesight's gone, I mean, it's gone. You can't really get it back. So I wear glasses, so I wear contacts as well and sometimes the sun can just uh, do, do uh, bad things to my eyes and I start, you know, my eyes starting to hurt after a while. So I gotta make sure that I have a good pair of sunglasses with me at all times. Last, but certainly not least, my cell phone. I never leave home without my cell phone, and I usually never leave home without some sort of charger with me. Cell phones are today's lifeline, as it is put. You can surf the internet, text, make phone calls, and it's also a GPS if needed. So, I make sure that I keep mine with me at all times. 
but make sure you have a good outer shell to protect your phone. I've always used OtterBox phone or OtterBox cell phone cases and they seem to work best for me. I'm constantly in and out of houses, cars, etc. I need a good phone case that will withstand the elements of my job. The OtterBox for me does this job, but there are others out there like LifeProof cases. They do an outstanding job and are waterproof as well. So make sure that you have a good case to protect that phone because, I mean, it is a lifeline for some folks. Um, it is their only means of getting out and talking to people nowadays. So just make sure you protect your, your investment there. At the end of the day, your everyday carry is based on your needs and your surroundings or environment. These items fit my needs and maybe you might incorporate some of these items that I've showed you today in your everyday carry. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. Also, you can visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash streetmedic12 for upcoming reviews, online deals, and videos just like this one. As always, y'all be good and be safe.